Hello! In this video, I'm going to go through my top five recommendations for chemistry-based books that I've read in 2024. So, on to the first book. Well, it's actually an ebook that's available as a free download from the Royal Society of Chemistry, written by the all-time great of chemistry-related textbooks, Peter Atkins, and it's called Concepts in Physical Chemistry. Now, it's freely available to download chapter by chapter. It's kind of like a, a gift from Atkins, I think, after all his years of producing wonderful textbooks to finally give something back to students for free. You can buy it as an ebook, or you can also buy it as a hardback, or you can download it chapter by chapter. I put a link in the description below for the downloadable chapters. It's kind of a reference guide, really, with like an A to Z of the key ideas that you should be comfortable with in physical chemistry. And it's an absolute must if you're looking to study chemistry at university, or if you're maybe scratching your head as a scholar student trying to push yourself a little bit further with physical chemistry at A level. Okay. On to number two. So this is a book that I came across quite recently, actually, only a couple of months ago, and I've been blown away by just how good it is. And it's called 30 Tutorials in Chemistry by W. Lau. Now, it's kind of written as a preparation for university study for bright chemistry students. But don't let that put you off because it's written in a really easy to follow manner. Yes, some of the content is challenging and unapologetically so because it's a like getting you ready for university, but it goes through each individual stage. Kind of think why chemical reactions happen, that kind of book, but I think it's explained in slightly more step-by-step -step detail. And the way the chapters are broken down means you can pick the book up and put it down again and only read chapters that you find particularly relevant. A particular highlight for me was tutorial three, which is based on particle in a box, an idea that students can sometimes understand conceptually but find it very difficult to apply mathematically. This book does an amazing job of going through the maths that you need to know and showing you how to use the maths and equations that are relevant to get to the outcomes needed. The stuff on organic chemistry is also fantastic, taking advanced ideas from A-level and starting to link them into more complicated mechanisms and reactions alongside some of the inorganic stuff with unit cells and looking at how we can use trigonometry and experimental data to determine structures of ionic lattice. A really good book and a surprising find. So if you're a bright A-level chemistry student who wants a bit of extra challenge, I'd recommend it. And if you're studying chemistry at university in your first year, I think it'd be a really good addition to having the books by your side. So really good book. Okay, on to book number three. This is Steeped, The Chemistry of Tea by Michelle Frankel. So this is more of a popular science type book. It isn't an academic textbook in any way. But although it's written for the non-specialist, I think a little bit of a background in chemistry, especially organic chemistry, makes this book a lot easier to read and a lot more enjoyable as a result. So if you're a first year A-level chemistry student with a little bit of organic knowledge, you'll be fine. It's really interesting and it goes through effectively the chemistry of tea as the subtitle suggests, looking at why tea tastes the way it does, the compounds we find in tea, the different manufacturing methods for tea, so the difference between black tea, green tea and white tea, and the chemistry behind the extraction process and how we can tweak the taste of our tea based upon the methods used, so things like the temperature of water, even the material that a teapot is made of. And a particular highlight is that it goes through the chemistry behind the age-old question, should you add the milk before or after the tea when making a cup of tea? I'll let you read the book to find the answer for that question, but it's a really good book, very, very interesting, and I would recommend it. Okay, on to book number two, Material World by Ed Conway. This could easily have made it to the top of my list. It's an absolutely incredible book, and Although actually it was published in 2023, the paperback version came out this year, which is why I thought I could sneak it into the 2024 reading list. It's absolutely amazing. Anybody who's interested in engineering, material science, technology, the environment, even the economy should absolutely read this book. It effectively goes through our need for obtaining raw materials for the world that we live in and the ever increasing demand on those materials, showing how we need to change our extraction methods to keep up with industrial demand. Absolutely incredible. And there's some really eye-opening tales in here as well and statistics that need to push forward into mainstream thinking 
a bit more, such as the obtaining of hydrogen for fertilizer use from effectively crude oil and petroleum based materials, something that very often isn't talked about or discussed. The need for increased refinement of copper and of the ever growing demands of lithium extraction for battery technology are again really interesting chapters and points. So I mean, I could talk about this book for hours and hours and hours. It really is absolutely incredible, and I recommend everybody should read it, but especially those who are interested in material science and science and technology generally. Okay, on to my final book choice and top of the list for 2024. Elixir by Teresa Livett. Now, I really didn't know what to expect when I first started reading this book, and I didn't hold out a lot of hope, I've got to be honest, but I was blown away by two things. First of all, how readable this book is, so how pleasurable it is to simply read. It's beautifully written. And second of all, by the amazing content that the author has included. So it's effectively really an, an introduction to the history of organic chemistry, but told through the lens of French perfumers in revolutionary France in the well, 19th century. Very interesting. A particular highlight for me was the chapter on chiral chemistry and kind of the emergence of optical isomerism being identified in chemistry or the sciences and how that linked to some interesting developments for organic chemistry. Kekulé's mentioned all the big early names in organic chemistry and I think it changes your perception of the history of science a little and it reminds you that time and time again the information that we take for granted in our everyday world now in science and technology actually came from really pioneering individuals who dedicated huge amounts of time, resources and energy to finding out that knowledge when science wasn't the mainstream career choice that it is today, but it's very often effectively a hobby or interest that individuals took. And I think it's a really, really interesting book. I thoroughly recommend it to anybody who's interested in organic chemistry and who just wants a good book to read full stop. So they are my top five book recommendations from this year, 2024. What have you read? Let me know in the comments in the description below. So thank you all very much for supporting the channel this year. It has been a lot of growth in subscribers and view counts, so thank you very much, and I will see you soon.